Hello everyone and now welcome. Welcome to a game between, well, Bike versus Lin. Lin spawning as the random undead player over here on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Bike spawning as the red human. Human versus undead in this 1v1 matchup should be a great, great matchup here on Amazonia. Limited number of expansions and well, seems like I am doing a lot of un get undead games today. Should be very entertaining. We'll see um, what the hero choices will be as well. Lin, not known to be the orc player at all. We'll see what he tries and what he's able to learn and gleam from well, playing undead, so uh, playing against undead so many times. We are looking at, well, no heroes as of yet. Feels like a minute of time has already passed on by as well waiting for those altar of darknesses and altar of darkness about to finish right off over here there we go it is going to go ahead and be done it is going to be a death knight going up against an archmage no big surprises here all right kind of um I had a little bit of time to cast a day i'm going over my typical hour and well uh, yeah, going over my typical hours. I feel sorry for the past couple of days. Thank you everyone on Twitch who's been able to join me, um, stop on by, say hi, give the follows and all of the kind words. I've been getting a decent number of viewers lately on Twitch and I and I do greatly appreciate it. Also appreciate uh, viewers on YouTube. Thank you for the uh, subscribers and also thank you to all of my patrons who, well, will really um, close in on that difference to make sure that um, everything is absolutely worth it for me still. Acolyte trying to hide right next to the forest right here, but easily scouted out by that footman as the Acolyte going to try to dive in and perhaps get a little bit of scouting information. A quick arc a scout tower already being built the instant um, Lin revealed his race as um, undead. Militia now making its way over. There's a quick purge right there. Acolyte trying to run around and hide in the back as the Archmage gonna well get in some easy damage. We see gloves of haste is the item right there. Archmage will be able to attack a little bit faster. And and this this is the situation where uh, the Archmage early on, if it all of a sudden gets um, gets claws of attack plus six, it ends up dealing a, a very very significant amount more damage um, than than compared or as a percentage compared to say um, some of the other melee units there. Um, anyways. Well, plus five damage as opposed to plus six. Getting two claws of attack plus six early on is just very, very powerful as all of a sudden the Archmage is able to deal with um, ghouls and other um, units much more easily. All right, Murloc Nightcrawler trying to spread out all of that poison. It spreads it to all of the units, including that poor footman right there. He is regenerating a little bit of hit points. Archmage is going to sit at level two as the Archmage does pick up a Slippers of Agility. All right. Death Knight wandering around back off to the north here. Kobold Tunneler and Kobold Taskmaster both going to get finished off. Death Knight is already at level two as well, and he's only creeping with um, um only creeping with um those uh, what Rod of Necromancy skeletal minions, skeletal warriors. So great job right there as he doesn't have to get too many crypt fiends. Death Knight, well, picks up with a Ring of Protection plus three. Cloak of Shadows has a Crypt Fiend to join him on the battle. What is the Death Knight doing? Is he going to try and pick up a new Rod of Necromancy? Is that his point and purpose right now? Heading back home? No, going after that Footman. The Ziggurat is not going to be done in time. Um, upgrading to Tier 2. Meanwhile, the Crypt Fiend trying to put in some pressure, trying to see if there is an expansion attempt. And yes, that is exactly what Bike is going for bike going for an expansion here that is a large number of peasants right there footmen all actually getting in position to try and prevent the skeletal minions from being able to um, dive on in far too much by lining up the peasants this way um, you actually exp um, minimize the surface area on those peasants uh, thereby just protecting them inside the forest however there are crypt fiends already making their way over there's a death coil this peasant well the most exposed going to try and back away again as it goes ahead and hides inside a gold mine temporarily those peasants are now already retreating back are those skeletal minions going to be able to catch up to those targets yes they will that skeletal minion down to up well, 
down to only about 15 seconds left on their time life, but still enough to do exactly that, as the skeletal minions have to, well, reposition and move around between all of these locations. Oh, it looks as though, yes, another skeletal minion gets a kill right there. So a good number of peasants lost, but the expansion is still up in operational Archmage. Now gonna go ahead, retreat back home. Death Knight may take this opportunity to try to get to level 3 himself. Tech to tier 2 is already done. Lich is already getting added in addition to that slaughterhouse. That slaughterhouse absolutely, absolutely huge. Um, as we're going to be getting in obsidian statues. And once obsidian statues and that Lich is out onto the battlefield, Death Knight should be able to easily get to level 3 with the help of the Crypt Fiends creeping. And then with all of that said and done... Well, pressure can be added or mounted up pretty quickly. Death Knight getting up a new Rod of Necromancy after using that last charge right there. Going to perhaps go after this Renegade Wizard Creep Camp, trying to pull back some of those other units as well. Was it a Goblin Shredder that was hired? Yes, it was. We are sitting at Tier 1, the base pretty open for Bike. No Lumber Mill, nothing of that nature. Lich is already out as we are looking at the Slaughterhouse nearing completion. Death Knight still sitting at level 2, trying to go after the remainders of this Creep Camp while staying on Blight. Very, very important to stay on Blight and heal up um, for that Death Knight. Coming back down to the south. Well, it looks like Skeletal Minion is going to be able to get off another kill on another Peasant right there. Slowly but surely gaining more and more experience as this Water Elemental could get finished off here. Lich going to try and get that final uh, blow off. Yes, it does. Death Knight gets to level 3. Lich is already halfway to level 2 during this time. Exactly what Lin wants. As that Obsidian Statue is added in, it is going to be 33 supply compared to 40. Army sizes, however, larger for Undead as there are a very large number of workers coming in from the human side. Human side also having a Goblin. Um, Goblin Shredder is considered an attacking unit um, and considered as part of the army even though it is currently being used to harvest lumber. Coming back around, Water Elemental going to try to dive on in once again. That Nerubian Tower should be able to slow things down enough to prevent that Water Elemental from being able to do far too much. Ghouls could actually make their way over and try and finish off that one Water Elemental allowing this Ziggurat to complete. All right. Are we going after the rock the granite golem creep camp? That would be rather adventurous. Very difficult to do to clear that up. Obsidian statue now in the backfield, able to provide a little bit of extra hit points and mana. So far, this is exactly what we're expecting to see from both sides. Footman now with mass defend. Bike actually investing very heavily into Footman. And if we go into tier 3, Halls of the Dead, and then what well, Staff of Teleportation coming across here, Archmage may try and hire up a Goblin Zeppelin. What is going on as there is that Goblin Zeppelin to try and pick up units. In comes some Footman. And well, this is going to be a straight on dive on inside the base here. Footman with defend going after the Tomb of Relics. Act like being brought over to try and repair. Ghoul should actually actually be brought over to attack. Not quite sure why they're going after and harvesting lumber at the same time. Archmage is nearby with the Goblin Zeppelin, going to be able to pick up the lower hit point units, and this is a definite problem here. Trying to repair this Tomb of Relics. Tomb of Relics down to 41 hit points as Acolytes are picked up and dropped back off. Or, sorry, Footmen are being picked up and dropped back off. Archmage dropping in a Water Elemental as well. Damage going to get added in. What is going on here? The Nerubian Tower tech to Tier 3 Black Citadel, and this was a tactical timing by Bike. I don't believe he is allowed to get the destroyer form upgrade without a tomb of relics i'm, I'm trying to remember the tech tree but i believe that's the case it, it, it it's so rare that it ever happens but taking down the tomb of relics is gonna delay the ups um, delay the destroyers Right, it, it, it's very rare that it, re very rare that it ever happens. He can also not get that orb of corruption. That that's the obvious thing now that he's at tier three. But delaying the destroyers is a very big deal, as it's gonna perhaps give him time to perhaps go for a workshop or be able to get um, an, enough riflemen to deal with his opponent. Um, oh, goblin sappers! Are, do we uh, do we see goblin sappers coming in from anywhere? Someone heard sappers. Um, well, that's just a wardrobe. And meanwhile, uh, coming in from the back again, archmage gonna be able. 
able to come in with another drop. Footman with Defend. And this is the problem. Footman with Defend is incredibly powerful if your opponent has no way of getting Destroyers. Without Destroyers, things go sideways very quickly. That Tomb of Relics, is it going to end up being completed in time? Yes, it will. Are we going to see a quick, quick um, uh, Destroyer form upgrade here? As we should also be looking at Orb of Corruption. Do we have enough gold? That is the question. Mountain King now sitting at level 1. I don't see any upgrades. Um, and, and meanwhile, back down to the south here. Lich is trying to engage Footman. Well, well Footman trying to engage back down to the south. Stormbolt onto the Pit Lord. Pit Lord has Reign of Fire. Death Knight teleports back down, trying to finish things off here as the Pit Lord able to back away. Pit Lord still trying to wander around here. Could end up getting another Stormbolt. Yes, that's another Stormbolt right there. Death Coil onto the Pit Lord will keep him alive. And all of these Footmen are just going to end up feeding the experience for the rest of the army. All right, wow, Obsidian Statue healing up that Crypt Fiend right there in the backside as the Death Knight well, and all of the remaining units retreat back. Lich does oh, does have an Orb of Corruption now, able to um, share all of that once more. Water Elemental going to end up getting taken down. That low hit point Crypt Fiend, what is happening as the units are trying to make their way back? Death Coil saving that Crypt Fiend. Water Elemental dissolving into a puddle, and we do not see Destroyer form upgrade yet. 39 supply compared to 37. Very big, very, very interesting exchanges going back and forth. Bike is sitting on two two bases. Mike uh, Lin sitting on one. As we see, well, the obsidian, or not the obsidian statue, the goblin zeppelin getting finished off right there. All right, more pressure being brought back over. Reign of Fire. I'm strategically positioned to try and get some damage on the, or stop any of that mining bike and mike yes they do rhyme more damage added in once more rain of fire on that pit lord incredibly incredibly powerful are we going to see another rain of fire being added in yes we are the peasants going to try and retreat back don't want to take any of that damage over time as the guard towers well taking a little bit of damage over time as they are getting burned all right obsidian statue still providing plenty of mana um, for that pit lord right now it was we're looking at them just trying to dive in here in just a second are we going to get more obsidian statues yes we are um, well i think we are seeing a flying machine storm bolt onto a crypt fiend crypt fiend quickly getting frost armor as the footmen are trying to get into position here death knight could be getting off a death coil here mountain king is well in an interesting spot with boots of speed trying to hide behind here as the flying machines are taking to the sky and don't see any well destroyers as of yet all right flying machine is going to easily get destroyed here in just a moment there it goes. Level 3, level 3, level 1 as the Archmage and well and Knights are now putting or joining in on the battle. All right, in comes down Reign of Fire. Peasants could end up getting destroyed. No, Stormbolt on that Pit Lord stopping that Reign of Fire in its tracks. Lich could try to get off a big Frost Nova, gets exactly that, slowing down a little bit of that mining once more. All right, Knights are in that front line spot. Crypt Fiends focusing down some of those units malicious now making their way over spellbreakers and paladins adding in onto the fight bike is in a, a good spot here gonna be able to hold hold his expansion i believe as a death coil is a split second late archmage does also have an orb of fire able to well slow down some of slow down some of that healing as the Archmage is in a great spot so far. All right, more damage coming back on through. Death Coil, is it going to make its way over? Yes, it does. A little bit of that healing was denied as the Orb of Fire preventing much of that healing again. More damage getting added across as the well, Flying Machine is getting destroyed. Stormbolt, uh, Death Coil onto that Crypt Fiend. Crypt Fiend taking Orb of Fire damage once more as the Knights do not have Sundering Blades. And once again, a Knight unable to catch up to a Crypt Fiend. All right, more damage as that Crypt Fiend just running around back and forth. Um, yes, Metaphysics going back to that. Lich still uh, continuing that pressure again as the Mountain King getting healed back up. All right, running around in circles. 55 supply compared to 46. Orb of Fire Spellbreakers trying to catch in on that target. Knights unable to close in on that distance as we are looking at, well, there goes that Crypt Fiend finally taken out. Are we going to see a little bit of an engagement once more? There goes a destroyer taken down by the flying machine and the archmage as the units are trying to retreat back. Are we going to perhaps be going into a storm bolt? Low hit point knight going to be in trouble. Down to 205 hit points. Staff of Sanctuary saves him. 40 supply compared to 55. All right, more damage coming back on the other side. Obsidian statue now lost and Lin in a little bit of trouble here as the death knight. Is it going to be able to save that lich? Lich down to 73 hit points. Death coil not going to be in time as the death coil, I believe, was on cooldown. All right, lich trying to make its way back. Pit Lord still getting in a lot of cleaving damage, trying to hope to finish off some more units. A low hit point unit right there. Um, well, a low hit point footman right there just completely um, just ignored once more as that water elemental now going to get focused down instead.
All right, Devour Magic, keeping that Destroyer alive. Um, a, a, a li well, Destroyer not alive, but a little bit better on hit points. We should be looking at a Death Coil onto that Destroyer. Destroyers are extremely expensive. 400 hit point heal while the Destroyer is out of combat, away from that Archmage, and that Orb of Fire is incredibly important. Interestingly enough, though, Archmage purposely backs away, allowing the Mountain King and that Paladin to get to level 2 as Knights are still being added into the army. 46 supply compared to 66. Bike in a great spot right now as the Archmage is going to gain a little bit of experience but still be shy of level 5. All right, Reign of Fire coming back across. Damage coming in here. Destroyers trying to finish off as much as they can. Lich could be in trouble. Lich could get taken down here in just a moment. There goes that Destroyer. Death Knight, I don't know if he even got a Death Coil there. Lin perhaps forgetting some of the undead basics needed to keep everything alive as the Lich could... Well, Lich not going to be in trouble as he takes everyone back home. 44 supply compared to 65. 2-2 two, two upgrades on those knights. Um, in a great spot, it looks as though Bike just needs to continue to play the way he is playing to get the victory. He's been catching units out of position constantly, getting in damage. And well, now that the um, that now that the second and third heroes are leveling up, I think that should be more than enough. Archmage, well, purposely giving or op letting the Mountain King and the Paladin get more opportunities for experience by staying away from the battle. But then the downside is that it could end up getting in trouble by himself as it is separated from the rest of the army. All right, Archmage taking a lot of damage right here. Death Coil, Frost Nova, Archmage could be down to dead. Is it going to, yes, use a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability followed by a Holy Light to get it back into the 280 hit point range. Reign of Fire now coming down. We're looking at the Archmage down to 288 hit points. Little bit of damage added in there. Another Holy Light saving that Archmage and getting it back at least for now. All right, Mass Web getting those Crypt Fiends into position. Pit Lord is going to be in a little bit of a strange spot. No Howl of Terror. More webs coming across. 51 supply compared to 67 as the Pit Lord trying to back up. All right, Lich, Death Knight in trouble. Death Knight down to 74 hit points, down to 21, down to 5 hit points, and it is off to the races. Orb of Fire um, just absolutely wrecking things. Lich now getting taken down, and that is the game. Bike finishing off Lin with just some impressive, impressive play. A very cheeky move to try and well, destroy that, um, that Tomb of Relics before Tier 3 was completed. It delayed the Orb of Corruption and delayed the upgrades to Destroyer form. And that, that's what allowed those footmen to be just a little bit more useful for a little while longer. And with that said, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're looking for more Warcraft 3 games, definitely check out my YouTube channel. Got thousands of games up there for you. Um, if you're watching first time on Twitch, consider following um, and liking all of my videos as well. Hopefully, if you've gotten to this point of the video on YouTube, you've already liked it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.